If you don't count Costco, whoa, something moved over there. Hey, hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Ken, and I'm on a journey to lose as much weight as I possibly can so I can become a fat guy no more. Well, it's week three, <laughs> week three of the uh, the Couch to 5K program. Um, man, time just really flies by. Um, you know, when I started this, I had 33 weeks to go. I'm already three weeks in, and this just seems to be going so quick. Um, a lot quicker than, than I expected it to. Um, but I, um, I feel I'm on pace, I'm on track for what I want to be. I don't know if what I'm doing is right. I don't know if what I'm doing will get me ready in time for it. But um, I'm hopeful. And I really feel that um, the pace that I'm doing things at is what I'm going to have to do for my body. Um, to be ready you know a lot of people that do these things are way a lot less than I do and uh, they can get ready quicker they're also not disabled usually like I am with these uh, issues with my back my legs the braces on both of them um, I'm not using that as an excuse by any means but I am saying that there are things that I have to do uh, to work around those or to get those things to work for me maybe I should say um, and so it's a, it's a little bit tougher, but, uh, but I'm doing it. And, uh, even if it's uh, one walk at a time, I know that might seem cliche, you know, hashtag one walk at a time. Um, but it's, um, it's coming along. It's definitely coming along. So as I have in the past weeks, let's consult the phone. We'll take a look at, uh, the screen cap of, uh, of my walks this week. My first one. Um, yeah, was, uh, I went and walked around Winco. Um, I haven't been to an actual grocery store in a long time. If you scroll back way back, uh, here on my channel, you'll see when I went to an Amazon go up in Bellevue, Washington. Um, but other than that, um, if, if you don't count Costco, whoa, something moved over there. Um, if you don't count Costco, um, I haven't been to a true grocery store in, I, I don't know. I really don't know how many years. It's been a long, 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 long time. Um, certainly not since we moved to Oklahoma just a little over two years ago. And probably not even the last three or four years out there, maybe. I know the last one I did go to was a Winco. Um, but um, it's been a long time. So... I decided I would go and kind of like I did with Costco uh, a week or so ago, um, I was going to use it as my official walk. And uh, what it shows for me is that I did 1.05 miles of walking around there. Again, much like with Costco, um, I parked way out in the parking lot. Um, I did that on purpose um, so I could uh, get the extra steps going to and from. Um, and then I spent a lot of time walking around in there. It says my total time was 50 minutes and 55 seconds for 1.05 miles. That put me on a 48 minute and 17 second mile long pace. So definitely not my best pace, but it is the longest walk that I've had um, out of all of them. And so I really like that. And there was a lot of things <laughs> that I got at Winco. Uh, to start stocking the pantry with so uh just uh it's a great place to go honestly especially if you're looking for the bulk stuff like uh you know bulk beans and pasta and rice and stuff like that oh my goodness and the veggies oh i love going there because they always have stuff like mexican squash yellow crooked neck squash they have a ton of different peppers jalapenos poblanos anaheims you know stuff like that that you just can't get anywhere else we have been um, very partial to Walmart since we moved down here. Of course, this is Wally World territory, um, but a lot of places there don't have the peppers and, and the different vegetables that Winco does. Um, and even looking at the prices, they're better than, uh, better than Walmart. Um, a couple things I noticed, red bell peppers. I love red bell peppers for lots of things. Um, at Walmart, they're about a buck 49 a piece. 
and they're kind of on the smaller side. Um, the ones I got at Winco were awesome and really big um, for 99 cents a piece. So I really like that. The cucumbers, the cucumbers that I was paying 99 cents a piece for at Walmart were pretty good size. The ones at Winco, um, which still taste, they taste amazing. I mean, so there's nothing different about that, um, but they're huge, absolutely huge compared to the ones at Walmart. Um, at Walmart, 99 cents a piece. At Winco, 33 cents a piece. Um, so yeah, needless to say, I'll be going back to Winco. My second walk for the week um, was at, uh, was at uh, Paycom Marina for another Thunder game. Uh, my bestie and I went um, and saw him lose this time. First time I've seen him lose in, in quite a while. Um, but we also did what I had done with the friend and that is walk around the arena. We did a complete lap on the, uh, on the first floor and then went up to the third level and, and walked around quite a bit up there as well. Um, it shows me at having done 0.64 of a mile in 25 minutes. So I didn't get my half hour in, but again, right now my target is 20 minutes to 30 minutes and trying to do that two to three times a week. Um, so I hit my targets being that it was 25 minutes. Um, that put my mile pace at 38 minutes and 44 seconds. So that is actually one of my better um, mile paces. Um, just again, walking around um, Paycom and uh, just taking it easy and, and walking and people watching. It was, it was a great walk and uh, especially with her. I yeah, really got to enjoy it. You know, I know there's going to be people out there to be like, well, you would have done that anyways. No, not really. I'd have got off the train, crossed the street, got to the elevator straight up, went right to my seat. It's what I always do. But now I'm doing it different. Walking around the first floor, going up, walking around the third floor, um, spending more time actually moving. So that's why I'm counting it. My third walk for the week was kind of forced. Um, my wife asked me if I would go pick up a couple things for her um, at Costco. Um, I really didn't feel like doing it. It was the day after the Thunder game, but I figured I would and I would use it um, as one of my walks for the week. Um, so um, against my better judgment, I took off. I was hurting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, it had been uh, a, a Kind of crazy past couple weeks, honestly, with that friend in town and and everything going on with it. But um, I went ahead and and did it anyways. And um, this time I did not park as far away as I did that first time when I did my walk at Costco. Um, again, because I was I was in a lot of pain. Um, but I still ended up managing 0.56 of a walk in 30 minutes. Um, that is a Terrible, terrible mile-long pace. Uh, my worst so far at 53 minutes and 55 seconds. But the point to me is I got 30 minutes of walking in. Um, even if it was slower, I was still up on my feet. And I was still moving. And uh, to me, at right now at least, that's what matters. So if you watched my last video, you know that I went and did something that I never thought I would do. Um, I bought a treadmill. <laughs> yeah. So in my other Couch to 5K videos, I've talked about walking around our neighborhood. Again, it's a great neighborhood. We absolutely love living here. But um, the sidewalks that you have to walk on just are not conducive for me. Now, yes, I understand completely that when I go do that 5K, it's going to be around the city of Oklahoma City, you know, downtown. Um, but... Um, a lot of that's going to be on the street, not on sidewalks. By then, I should be able to handle it. Um, right now, this is all about getting moving. Just getting my legs used to this, used to carrying me, used to walking at these kind of paces, just used to doing it, and then I'll build up. Um, as the summer goes on, I'll get back outside, and then late summer especially, I'm really going to want to walk um, more on, on, on city streets and stuff like that to get ready for that 5K. But right now, at this moment, um, I just need to be moving. And to me, that needs to be level ground. 
So that's why I decided to research and buy a treadmill. I got that delivered uh, just a few days ago and put into the guest room and all set up. I'm not going to turn that room into a full-on gym. Then again, there was one time that I said I wasn't going to turn my garage into a brewery. Um, well, yeah, any of you that know me and have heard me talk about it, you know what happened there. But So who knows what will come of that room. But right now, it does just have, uh, <laughs> have the treadmill in it. And so my fourth walk for this week was my first time uh, up on the treadmill, taking the maiden voyage, if you will. Um, and I did, uh, I did just 15 minutes, mostly because I guess I hit the wrong program. I thought I had it for 30 minutes because uh, it's one of those fancy ones with the monitor and everything, you know, and do, 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 do. Um, and so I had it at 15 minutes, just a standard walk. Um, and so I did it. And so it came in at 0.38 miles, um, which is roughly a 40 minute mile pace um for the 15 minutes um not too shabby i wish i would have went a little bit longer um but honestly trying to get used to the treadmill um is uh is it's it's going to be a a change um to be honest uh as i mentioned in my last video i freaking love the thing um at least so far i mean you know we'll, we'll have to see um but so far i love it um it just it felt weird being up on it um and walking um, but it just, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just love the thing. So hopefully, hopefully that's, uh, that, that, that'll be true love and I'll really get to spend more time up on there. I know in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about doing, um, doing a timed one just to, to just go see how long it takes me to get to a mile. And maybe I can do, do timed ones every, you know, maybe every month. Uh, going forward just to see what my true pace for a mile would be. Um, but I don't know. Um, I've got that ability. And, and the main reason, like I mentioned in my last video, the main reason I bought that was um, the, the way our neighborhood is, you know, I can't, it's really tough. It's not that I can't, it's just really tough for me to go out and walk like that being, um, being disabled like I am. It just makes it rougher. And it makes me dread actually going out there, but I've pushed myself and done it. And I'm honestly just afraid that I'm going to trip sometime and fall. And that's, that'll just be the end of everything because I'd be done at that point. Just forget about it. Right? So, um, this gives me that level playing surface that I can walk on and, um, it's going to get hot sooner than later here and i'm not going to be out there when it's uh when it's cracking 100 110 degrees there's just no way that i'm going to get out there and do that so um this gives me like i like to say no excuse hashtag no excuse um because i've got a perfectly cooled room i can do whatever i want with it if it gets too warm throw a fan on if it gets too cold throw the heat on and so um, again, no excuse, no excuse at all um, for not getting my walk in. All right, that's the end of this one. I know these videos are a little bit weird, um, but this is now my life. This is what I'm doing. Um, so I appreciate you watching my Couch to 5K videos and cheering me on. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to follow me on my journey to become a fat guy no more, Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video.